AFTV, um, what do you make of it today? Well, it's just exposing Emery even more. So what what I saw last week on Twitter was a, like a thread of things Emery has done wrong, right? And what that what that person tweeted, I forgot what, what his name was, is starting to co come it's starting to come alive. I'm I'm starting to see it all, all, all up right in front of my eyes. And what I what I said about Emery at, at, Bournemouth, at, uh, at the Bournemouth game, I said he's overly pragmatic. He won't work for the future. And I'm starting to be right. And for me, when I see Emery, I feel like he's a small to mid club coach. Because you look at Almeria, you look at Sevilla, you look at Valencia, you look at uh, Dinamo, it was Spartak Moscow. He worked with limited resources, limited um, you know uh, reliability, and with the management, with the stars that he had there, you know they weren't they weren't actual big big names that we've got here. Like you look at his Sevilla winning, uh, Europa League winning uh, side of Sevilla when he won in 2016. Who there is a big name that would that would uh, fit into like a, a Barcelona or Real Madrid side? Who there? Nobody. If you look at us, we got Aubameyang, we got Lacazette. Would they go? Would they fit into Barcelona or Real Madrid? I don't know now, but possibly knowing that they're big names, they would. And with Emery, Arsenal job is too big for him. The coat is too big for him. The job's too big for him. The job is too. The job is too big for him. No. I mean, if you look at PSG, when he was at PSG, he bottled the title in his first season, to Monaco. right? To Monaco's youth, to Monaco's youth, he bottled the title. So what did he do? He went out and he bought Mbappe. He had to get Neymar in from Barcelona just to win it back the next season. Bottled a four-nil lead to PSG to Barcelona in the Champions. It's easy to say all that. You weren't saying that when he came in, were you? No, no. Fair right. Enough. So it's all right. It's easy to say all these things now. It's easy to, to say it now, but what you've seen in the past, it's starting, it's, I'm afraid it's happening here. I mean, look at Wednesday night. We was, four, we was cruising at 4-2. How was it 4-4? How, how did we take it for 5-4 uh, right at the end to make it 5-5? Again, when, when you look at him, he's, 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 not, he's not giving instruction on the pitch. Fair enough, some players do you have And the players are still playing for him now? Or do you think he's lost the players? Well, we, I feel like he's lost the players. I mean, when you look at last season, start of last season, Gary Neville's uh, Monday Night Football interview, he said he's like, you know, with Emery, he's got to give clear instructions, clear ideas to where he wants Arsenal to be. Because if he doesn't do it right, the players are going to drag him. He's lost the dressing room because the players are dragging him. This is what forced him out of PSG. You know, Mbappe was dragging him. I mean, not Mbappe. Neymar looked like he was dragging him all over the place. He thinks he has the player power so to... How, how long would you give him? I would give him until Christmas. But what I've, uh, what my prediction is... Leicester away next week. We lose to that, and I think he'll be gone on the Sunday. I think they'll get rid of him then. They'll either put Freddie in charge to the end of the season, or probably appoint Allegri. I mean, Mourinho, I don't want him anywhere near the club. I do not want him anywhere near the club. D don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. He's, he's, do he's done bits. He's done bits, but for me, uh, I would not want him anywhere near the club. He does not suit the values, does not suit anything. So yeah, that's me done.